Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking about my college application process and currently my plans for college and in the future. First I want to talk about where I'm attending. I am going to UCLA studying business economics. Um, I did want to minor in something but I haven't decided yet. So let's backtrack. I would say I started my college applications pretty late compared to at least my classmates. I started my college application. I started my college applications around August of 2023. I believe the reason I started was just because of procrastination. I always kept telling myself that I would do it the next day and then I ended up not doing it. But for those current high school seniors, I definitely recommend to get started as soon as possible. My college application process was pretty stressful, I would say. My teachers at my school laid out the whole process of how to apply to college. So there was the process of filling out your FAFSA, creating a college list, narrowing that college list to reach, target, and safety schools, how much the college would cost, location, and considering a bunch of other factors when choosing what colleges you should apply to. But what did help for me was getting a college writing mentor. My college writing mentor helped me figure out what to write and how to structure certain writing. I'm not that really good of a writer, so having somebody else's point of view really helped me gather my creative thoughts and articulate the ideas that I want to through my writing. Anyways, back to my college application process. So once I sent in all my applications to the schools I wanted to apply to, I finally started getting my decision letters back in January, but I didn't receive all my letters through January. It was like in the span of January to March, I would say. And I applied to three UCs, which was UC Berkeley, UCLA, and UC Irvine. And for UCs, I believe you just get all your letters through March. And as far as applying to like Common App, I received my decision letters pretty early, but that was also because I applied for early decision, which is applying earlier. So why did I choose UCLA out of the schools I got into? As many of you may know already, UCLA has a big title of being this number one public school throughout the nation. So I will admit, having that title kind of geared me toward choosing UCLA. But not only that, I also know that they have like the number one dining halls. And if you know me, I love food. <laughs> That was so cringy. Another reason why I chose UCLA as a school I wanted to attend was because of the location. I think LA provides a lot of opportunities for go-getters and like people that are seeking opportunities to grow and more opportunities to meet new people and just expand out your network. LA provides a large city environment where there are a lot of like businesses, small startups, you know, corporate jobs and all that. And so if you're really looking for like an internship or a job, there's a lot of opportunities there in LA. So that's another reason why I considered LA. And one of the most important reasons why I chose UCLA is because I am an in-state student. So meaning I live in California. And when you're an in-state student, I believe tuition is much more cheaper than being an out-of-state student. I remember I was doing some research on UCLA's annual tuition. And I remember there was a stat of like 13,000 per year tuition compared to like out-of-state student would be like 30 to 40,000 I believe. And I'm pretty sure other schools are like that too where they have tuition much cheaper as if you're in state compared to being an out of state student. So why did I choose to study business economics? Firstly, I would say the reason is because I believe business economics is a really broad major. And so business economics can fall under like generally under just the business industry, whether it's like just corporate jobs, office jobs, whatever it is you want to work in. That can be finance, accounting, economics. But for me, my first choice isn't really just to pursue a corporate job in like an office. My first choice is obviously just pursuing content creation, creating YouTube videos. But I do believe getting this degree in business economics can help me as a backup plan. Although I don't want to think of getting a degree as a backup plan. I kind of want to just have my mindset set on just content creation because I believe that if you have a backup plan, you're always going to have something to rely on in the back of your mind when you really should just be tunnel vision on, you know, plan A or what you're really trying to pursue. And so what I'm hoping for is I meet a bunch of aspiring content creators at UCLA that I can network around with. Although after attending new student orientation, I did find out that there are a lot of economics classes you do have to take as a business economics major rather than just taking, you know, the general business classes like management. So keep that in mind if you are considering a applying to UCLA as a business economics major. But don't feel pressured to have your major set because you can always change your major. And I know a lot of people at UCLA do that. Or you can go in as undeclared. And lastly, I just wanted to provide tips for people who are in the process of applying to college. First, obviously just get started with college applications. Second, get a college writing mentor. Third, create a college list where it's groups into the safety, target, and reach schools. Fourth is to look into the factors when choosing your colleges. So that could be location, tuition, whatever factors you're considering, diversity, average debt people graduated with, whatever it is, just look into those factors that you care about when choosing the colleges you want to apply to. And lastly, I would just say just make it a fun process. And although college is a big idea, don't dwell on it too much. Just have fun throughout the process. But other than that, that's all I have. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. And if you guys do have other questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.